Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an RDSP stream using FFmpeg. I'm going to show you how to uh, stream from a pre-recorded file. I'm going to show you how to stream from your microphone. I'm going to also show you how to stream from your webcam. So we're going to cover all bases today. Let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is download FFmpeg. You can download it here from their website. And as usual, I'll include all links in the description below, okay? So you can download uh, Linux packages based on your distribution, Windows packages, Mac packages. I have Windows, so all you need to do is come over here and download like the full version. Let me show you where I have it downloaded, okay? Right here. So um, what I recommend you do is insert this bin folder path into your environment variables. Okay, if you don't have it in your environment variables, then you'll have to execute, you'll have to open up a command prompt um, from here, okay, in in this directory. So regardless, um, once you have FFmpeg, we need to download and set up a RTSP server, because while, while FFmpeg can stream to a URL, it can stream, uh, make our TSP stream towards a URL. We need something that can listen to that URL and then further broadcast it, further distribute it. So that's where uh, things like MediaMTX come into play, which is like a very big open source uh, server for different streams. There's a whole bunch of protocols that it supports, um, different codecs. So look at all this. There's just so much going on here. Um, we're just interested in RTP, RTSP streams here right now. Um, and it's a very easy to, thing to set up as well. Uh, you can see a whole list of features over here. Um, but to give you the gist of it, it's basically something that is very optimized for distributing RTSP streams. It's, um, it's very scalable as well. You can, you can create and distribute multiple RTSP streams across the network. Um, then there's a whole bunch of things like redirection, authentication, and recording the streams to disks. A whole bunch of cool features like that that maybe we'll explore in a separate video. But for now, let's just, uh, you know, see how we can get this set up. There are two ways you can set this up, either by a Docker image. Um, you might want to do this if you already have Docker installed. Um, but I feel like it's going to be a lot easier for most people um, who don't have Docker, for example, to just download the binary. You can open up their release page where they have a bunch of pre-compiled binaries and you can download uh, one of these, Linux or, you know, Windows. I'll, I've already downloaded the Windows one over here. Okay, so all you need to do is it really just start the CXE and our server is now created and listening uh, on the 855 port for RTSP streams. All right, so uh, let's continue now and the next thing for us to do is to use FFmpeg. Let me open up a new terminal. Um, I have a bunch of stuff I wrote down here to make it easy. All right. Uh, by the way, I'm also going to leave a link to my website in the description below. There's a whole bunch of uh, instructions and commands that I wrote down here for everyone, for Linux and Windows separately. So you guys will find this very useful. It's going to be in the description. Okay, so here, let me paste this in. Basically, we're using FFmpeg. Um, we are, this is the input flag for this file. We're copying it. This is uh, the copy uh, flag over here basically ensures that it streams very quickly because we aren't re-encoding it or anything. Uh, we're just in the same format that the file is in we're just uh, streaming that. So this is faster because there's no re-encoding or anything, anything going on. And this is where it's uh, gonna publish the RDSP stream to. Okay, this is the URL. So although the RDSP stream is on this port, you can have like any number of streams just by changing the URL. Okay, so let's just keep the, keep it like that. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, the stream has started. You can monitor it over here. Now what I'm gonna do, uh, there are many ways we can verify whether our stream is working or not. You can use, uh, uh, my favorite option, because it, it's the most convenient, is to use ffplay, because when you download uh, ffmpeg, it downloads ffplay and probe with it. 
so ff pl uh, play is what we're interested in so all you need to do is pass it the uh you know url and hit enter and will benefit gamers though the biggest one isn't really obvious until you go well yeah there you go so that's basically our rtsp stream and that was a, a, a sample video i took off youtube by the way right so um yeah that's how you can stream an rtsp file sorry a regular file over an rtsp stream but obviously this isn't very practical right what we're really interested in is how we can stream our microphone or webcam right so let's move on to that um first if you're on windows what you're what you're going to want to do is this let's open up this one all right, so what this is gonna do is basically list uh, all the devices that we have, video and audio. This is the web webcam in my laptop. This is the headphone set, which I have connected to this laptop. And this is the built-in uh, microphone that is already in the laptop, okay? So, um, and by the way, for the Linux guys, again, it's everything is over here, okay? You guys, uh, where did I put it? Streaming from microphone in linux okay so you don't need to do the devices thing uh, you can use the default audio device just by doing this okay um, this is all you guys have, have to do anyways um let me go here and copy this i've already wrote the, written these commands out beforehand with everything so i'm gonna write this out and i'm gonna make sure my stream is shut down okay I don't want to start two streams at the same time. So yeah, there we go. This will stream my microphone. Okay, I can see that it's begun. I'm going to go back to FF Play now. And uh, I think the URL is a bit different. So let's just copy that. And let's put it in here. Okay, so this is, okay, an, so audio this is test. an audio test. Okay, you guys can probably, okay, hear, my guys voice. Can probably hear my voice. It's coming twice. It's coming twice. And there are these, uh, and there are these uh, audio waves, audio waves here, here. So yeah, that's working. And we know that uh, this is working so far. So let's move on to the final thing, which is testing our webcam. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just, um, I already showed you, showed you before, right? How to check your uh, devices. So let's just run this command directly, okay? And wait, is this where I ran FFmpeg? Oh, okay. Let's just cancel that. Go over here. Cancel that. All right, let's start the stream over here. Okay, and don't worry too much about uh, any warnings or errors that you might be getting. Okay, it's typically not a big deal and go over here to windows powershell and uh, i think the url again is a bit different uh, where... all right there it is so just gonna change that and i blocked off my microphone sorry my webcam but oh wait okay so but you'll at least be able to verify just You'll at least be able to verify. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Show. So I blocked this off. Yeah, but uh, so I blocked this off. But uh, you can see it's working. You can see it's working. So yeah. Um, anything else? Do we have to do? I think we've covered everything. File, microphone, and uh, yeah, webcam. So these are the three things that we've covered. Um, I hope you guys found this video interesting and useful. Because I'm making a whole series on FFmpeg, so if you guys have any things, anything that you want to see, uh, make sure to leave that in the comment section below, okay?